Hello everyone, this is William Lee from Box5 Software and welcome to Envision University. This course is Envision 101 The Basics. So the first thing that we're going to do is walk through this wizard uh, to get started with your first show. Uh, after we walk through this wizard quickly, I'm also going to show you an alternate way to create a first show. Okay, so first off we have the beautiful welcome screen that we're all used to by now. Uh, you go ahead and click on start a new show. So this sets off the wizard, um, gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, create your first show. Just put in some information. Now the show title and the performing ensemble will be displayed when you are printing. So that's important information to add in there. The second screen of the wizard is the production menu. Um, I actually like to only put the first production in at a time, but if you have your entire show planned out, it's nice and quick to add multiple productions here. You can scroll using the mouse wheel, or you can press the up and down buttons, or you can just enter the number yourself. So let's say we want two productions in here. You need to name them differently, or Envision will complain. So production one, and let's stay with song two. At this point, you can also choose an audio file. I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to add it in later. This next screen is the ensemble page. This is where you choose which performers are going to be in your production. Uh, so we have a couple presets up here. You can see all the various options. Now these are just general options and you can change them after. So I'll show you how to do that. So we can just go ahead and choose uh, band small. So we get 48 members of the different categories. We have some color guard, some marching percussion, and some wind instruments. So let's say we want to have uh, only four flutes. So we can go over here and move that down to four. So you can see the number reflected next to how many performers you actually have. And that's the same all the way down. Now if we want to remove a section altogether, that's also very easy. Three tubas, we don't want them at all. Remove those tubas. But if we want to add more people, it's very easy also. So we can go over here to wins. Uh, let's say we actually wanted those tubas back. So we can come back over here, pick tuba, add our three tubas back in, and there you go. They're added back to the bottom of the list, just like that. Now in this next section, this is where you get to choose what your performers are going to be wearing. Now remember, you can change any of these settings at a later time after you are finished with the wizard. This gives you the nice view of the different uniforms that we have preset. So you can pick any one of these or you can create your own uniform later. Um, so let's just stick with the uh, original Envision uniform. Um, actually, let's change it to formal coat so I can show you. If I press apply, you'll see that the performer group that I have selected over here are going to get that uniform. So the flutes are wearing the formal coat right now, but everyone else is still wearing the Envision uniform. So if we want to set the formal coat to all of our performers, you want to hit apply to all, and then you'll get it all the way down. Note that there are two types of performers in Envision, male and female. These performers have different attributes and are not interchangeable. That means that female performers cannot wear male uniforms and vice versa. Go down here, you'll see that the flags haven't been set to the formal coat and they don't even have that as an option. So you can look through the different options that the flags have right now. Um, and we can choose the white and purple uniform. And again, we'll hit apply to all so that everyone looks the same. Okay, we'll hit next. This is the canvas selection screen. Now the canvas is the area that you're going to be working on, just like a painter. For marching band, you're going to be working on a football field. The canvas is the area where you're going to be letting your creativity run wild. It's also your main workspace. I can go into a little bit more depth with these later when we get to the canvas editor tool. But at this point, we're just going to use the marching band college and we're going to hit finish. So now we wait a little bit for our performers to show up, and there they are. These are all the performers that we have just created. Performers are always created in the back left corner of the canvas, in this white area that is known as the bullpen. If you leave all the default modes on, you still see these wonderful stands here, but we can't get to all of our performers. Some of them are hidden underneath the stands. So to get rid of the stands, all you have to do is come up here to this toggle. It's a toggle scenery toggle. So you remove them and then you can move your people. And when you want to add it back in, you can just add it back in later.